Today, guys, might be one of the most strangest tire fit similar updates I've seen. Uh, Shavetopia. So the Phillips XTDS collab has actually occurred. Like the guys who sell electric shavers for the most part. Tire fit simulator has partnered with Phillips Snuggerl to bring you the Phillips XTDS season. Defeat bearded enemies to collect one blades and shave your way through the new season plus earn exclusive skins. Check out Phillips Snuggerl's Shavetopia hub by entering the portal in the lobby. And I reply with this meme. No. So these are the skins you can get and there's some that are coming soon. They, they, they're not finished yet. So usually for the seasons, you would win stuff by just being a game which is kind of boring. This time around, it's very different. You guys see these little things dropping? You can collect them. You get one point for each one. In the top right corner here, you can see your total amount. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this. Um, John Keld skin is going to be gone soon. Don't tell me to say this. I... I was not paid to say that. These do despawn over time, by the way, so don't just leave a bunch of them because they will despawn. Um, zombies that are having beers, like this gentleman right here, they will drop one delicious and nutritious electric shaver. I just realized I'm Ammon. I could just do this. Um, I'm. Oh, they none of them have beards. Damn it. Below was smart about that. Below, why I could. I could have been rich in, in beard coins. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I mean, you just play a simulator in a simulator, you guys. How fun. I spawned in so many shadows and not a single one is dropping those goddamn shavers. Well, I'm not gonna uh, grind for that. I thought I could cheat my way and spawn it in, but I, I can't. 250 Robux? God damn, man. 420 Robux? Holy smokes! Holy Maluna, Jesus Christ! Claim, claim, can I, can I, god damn, okay. <laughs> Another scout skin. Honestly, uh, I don't see anyone in right mind replacing Milton with any other skin besides John. You gotta be weird, bro, if you do that. Anyways, Lumberjack, Soldier as well, and Cowboy. Why I bring Crook Boss, god damn it. And I got all the towers here. Level zero for the Milton, we got a reskin and a bearded gentleman right here. Looks like a Lumberjack, I guess. Level one, got some cool little headphones, the microphone built in. That's always a nice touch to see. Safety glasses included, got some vest on, and then the uh, nice little backpack on the back. God, oh my like, god, damn, the backpack looks nice. God damn. Got some elbow pads, laser gun, drum mag, and at the max one has a scar hammer reskin and looks more like a bigger lumberjack sort of dude, uh, winter themed. This is the soldier skin. Um, I think I think he floats. Yeah, the skin sucks, guys. Sorry, bro. He floats. He floats. They all float. I was just joking, but um, it's weird that he has bullets right there. Why don't you have a spare mag, bro? And he's level zero, level one, level two, level three near the max, and max level four. I don't get why the hell it threw a horse mask on it, but I think this skin is worth it. Solely because of the max rank of the soldier right here at the horse max. Again, I don't know why they 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 put a horse mask on there, but but this looks like quality right right here, guys. And the cowboy got one as well. Level zero looks more like you know an old-fashioned cowboy, but also fancy because this man has some gloves packing right there, along with the classic fedora hat. What an absolute gentleman! Looks like a bodyguard, secret service as well, along with that. Then a silence. Pan gun now. This looks like an M9 Beretta. Nice. It starts off with a revolt. This shit deal. Th no, this deals less damage than a Magnum revolt. God damn, below. Oh, the holes on the line to push out the shell. L2 M9 Beretta silence. And then we finally got, like I was saying, then finally at the max, he has no hat, but god damn, what a bald, specialized man right here. Carrying what it looks to be a USP 45 silence. And he just looks absolute baller. And then over here to Scout Skin, uh, level zero, a print hello world thing, like sort of programmer nerd sort of intern skin, I guess is what they're trying to go for. Level two with a little new badge. What kind of weird NFT is this one, huh? Level three, then level four to max one. Honestly, the skin I like the most out of all of these is going to be either the max level cowboy or the max level soldier. I mean, both of these are really good. I'm not a big fan of the lumberjack 
And the scout, I mean, really only nerds are, gonna, are really going to care for this crap, I guess. And for those of you warning, a shave topia portal. I have no idea what the hell this is, but we're about to find out. Teleport to shave. Is this a game place? Let's style a run for your Ryan a goddamn race with like some sort of flying aircraft. All right, this is a game. Uh, <laughs> Blade Hunter, collect 20 blades. Find blades fast. Top the leaderboard. Earn credits for mini games and more. Okay. Why is there always a weird cowboy? God damn! What the hell are you doing in this game? And there's like just a constantly annoying sound and god damn. There's a tower defense ceiling right there. You can teleport back to T TDS, I would assume so. Anyways, you get these really low quality um, blades that have like six frames per second. God damn, could they not do a better job of programming this? Jesus Christ. Another weird Roblox event. I concur, Mick Wade. I, I, I kind of like this event and I'm, I'm a grown man. And so I'm getting so many of these goddamn points. I mean, they, they, they really need to spread this out. Um, already not even five minutes into the game and I have more than a hundred already, dude. And just the goddamn sound is so annoying. They got a Rito Tycoon? What the f***? What is this, a shaving gear or something? Ah, yes. Uh, average TDS player, uh, asking what a razor is because they're not old enough to, to grow a beard. Huh, <laughs> losers. Wow, look at all these points I am getting up. Oh, snap a stash. Take a photo. Um... I don't like this, <laughs> and I can't get out. Oh, there's an X. Hair K. Oh wow. Uh, can you actually play anything? Oh, oh God, damn! You can actually play. Wait, wait, you can actually play it. Oh, it's just a game of pongs. It's like made in the '90s or something. I'm gonna go for easy mode. You're supposed to jump like that. I don't get why they put an arcade game in a razor game. That makes no sense. Friday Night Funk in the first game. Wow. You know, there's a reason why this game only exists in real life, because it's actually kind of fun in real life. Not in a video game. And I won 24 low quality tickets. Are they are they legit just playing commercials for children to buy like these sort of... Dude, this is like a hundred dollars right here. What the hell? I don't even know what that is. I, why, why are these... Dude, is this a year 2022 where where where, chil where children perform watch ads and in game ads of of razors? This guy's like eating grass with his razor. I guess this is that's a game you're supposed to do. Even though you shave like that in real life, you're going to cut yourself guaranteed and bleed all over the place. Like what you see, head to the UGC shop and buy your favorite. Well, where did I do that? You didn't give me no money. Wow, dude, 32% rings. I wonder why. Let's see the store. Oh, there's something for sale. Thanks. Are they wearing the... Nope, they're not even wearing their own items. Okay. I have no idea where the UGC store is at. Look at this absolute map design flaw where a player gets get trapped in here. Had he not had that flying thing, he would have been stuck in there guaranteed. Well, guys, overall, this shape Topia thing is a pile of trash. I would recommend avoiding it as it just sucks and the ratings prove so otherwise. <laughs>